Hello and uh, welcome to my channel. My name is Dr. Lee and I'm from Penang. My hometown is uh, Bukit Matajam and uh, I'm now staying in Klang Johor. So this is my WhatsApp number. If you are interested to buy my book, which is uh, fully based on grammar, there are 1,384 questions with answers and explanation. For every lesson, there's an explanation. So if you want to buy my book, please do it now. 019 uh, 019-0197878299. Please WhatsApp me and let me know how many copies you want to buy. Then uh, I will arrange for the books to be sent to you. So once the books are sent, I will start in my YouTube channel every lesson in my book. I will explain on YouTube that chapter then you can check your answers with me actually you can check the answers from the back because answers are provided but uh, if you are not very sure then you can check with me again through our youtube channel and if you have any questions you can always ask me uh, on youtube channel as well and i will uh, give you the answer i will explain to you please remember that um, my whatsapp number is for you to order books only please do not please do not um, ask me any personal questions or uh, or your problems please do not whatsapp me put it in youtube channel and i will get back to you all right i'm still at uh, solving problems there are many questions uh, put forward by our subscribers my subscribers or could be viewers so uh, I'm now at lesson 121 and uh, still solving problems, the fourth part then. All right? So this is a, a question put forward. The subscriber wants to know different difference. In which area are they not the same? So it is like this. I've written out and show you. Different is an adjective. An adjective describes a noun. So what is a noun? A noun is the name given to people, example mother, father, teacher, animals, cat, dog, sheep, things, pencil, eraser, chairs or chair. And then places, canteen, school, but small letters, small letters, not capital letters. So I was just a simple sentence, a different house. More different than the most different. After this different describes the house. Like example tall, example fat, example clever. All these are adjectives. Same as different. Different is an adjective. But difference is a noun, and we call it an abstract noun. Now, a noun usually, uh, a noun usually uh, is by itself. I mean, nouns like we we say common nouns. Common nouns are nouns that you know normally physically you can see people, animal, things, and places. But an abstract noun is uh, usually you cannot see, but then it's the name form from adjectives or from adverbs like friendship or entertainment. So what's like ship relationship or friendship? Entertainment, disappointment, announcement, all these are called abstract nouns. So difference is an abstract noun which is formed from different. So Example, this is the difference. The difference. Normally for nouns, we use the difference, of difference, for difference, my difference, your difference. Usually, you, you do have a word in front here. Okay? So this one different is an adjective. It describes something, someone, an animal, a place, a thing. Whereas difference is a, is a noun. Which, which we build or we form it from an adjective. 
Then we have a subscriber who asked me. Uh, he says that I mentioned in a video that we use four for activity. So uh, he asked me why why do you say go to school? Why don't you go? Uh, why don't you say go go for school? He said. So actually, both can be used. I make two sentences and show you. I go to school. Why do I use two? Because two is used for a place. I can give you another example. Like um, I can also say, I go to the canteen. I use two. Why? Because canteen is a place. So when you go to a place, you must say two. Okay? But when I am late for school, in this case, school is not a place. In this case, I use four because I use school as an activity. That means study. In this situation, school is study. So when you say you go and do something, you go and study, so you use four. So it's the same like I would say, I go to the beach for a picnic. So I'm combining two and four. You can see very clearly here. Here I use two because a beach is a place. And here I go, I use four because I'm talking about picnic. A picnic is an activity. So you are right. Four is an activity. It's not wrong. But it depends whether you want to use it to talk about a place you are going or you are talking about an activity you are doing. If activity, four. If a place is two. So it's very clear here. Alright. I hope you understand. And this one. This one I explained many, many, many times. So maybe some subscribers still uh, don't really understand. So it's okay. I will explain one more time. The subscriber asked me, yesterday I watched or yesterday I had watched, which is correct. So I put for you. This is correct, this is wrong. When you use yesterday or ago, like two days ago, just now, or last week, last month, last night, last evening, you cannot put had. No had, no had. You only put the past tense. It is called the simple past tense. Or when you're meaning, when you mean Yesterday, ago, just now, or last. You don't have to say yesterday, but your meaning is yesterday. So you use watched. You cannot put had. Had is called past perfect tense. And these are the ways to use. For example, after he had watched TV, he rested. I use your word, had watched. But no yesterday. No yesterday. <clears throat> this one we want to tell people that in the past is already over. I watch TV first, number one, first action. Second action, rested. So for the first action, we put had. For the second action, the third action, the fourth action, you just put ED. He rested, then he went to the bathroom. He bathed, past tense and brushed his teeth, past tense. After that, he slept. All past tense. Only one had washed to show that it is the first action. So, he rested after he had watched TV. Same. This one and this one are the same meaning. But, after can be used in the first, as the first word of a sentence, it can also use, be used in the middle of a sentence. When I reached home, he had watched TV. He had watched TV when I reached home. Again, when you can use as the first word, when you can also use in the middle of a sentence. 
But when you use after, you are talking about the same person. He, he. After, he, he. When you use when, then it's two different persons. I, he, she, he. Or we, they, whatever. Not the same people, not the same person. Well, that's all. And uh, for these three persons, Saiwa Ida Yu, one Alif Haikal, and Maisha Elena or Misha Elena, please WhatsApp me. Please WhatsApp me so that uh, I can I can guide you on how to order your book. Okay. So that's all for this lesson, lesson one hundred and twenty, part four of uh, solving problems. If you enjoy my video and you like it. Please give me a share, a like and subscribe. Thank you very much.